the last but not the least, Ms. Jai Shri Radha Krishnan from Saranathan College of Engineering, Trichy. Good afternoon, everyone. So this is how it feels to be in front of 3,000 people. I hope everyone had their lunch, and I also hope I don't put anyone to sleep. So today I'm here to talk about how we can survive cancer. As my title says, we can survive it. Cancer people, it is not a death sentence. It is just another disease. Cancer can be life-altering, but cancer is never life-defining. Too much of something is always a problem. Too much of relationships, too much of arrears, like that. So, too much of self is also a problem. So, when we grow, our cells grow along with us. But sometimes the DNA breaks and the cell dies. So when this DNA cell, wrong DNA cell, does not die, then we have this uncontrolled cell division called as cancer. We should have a balance in life. If there's a good day, at the end of the line, there is definitely a bad day coming. Yesterday, I had a fabulous day, and I hope today is not that bad day. There are two types of genes that contribute to the balance in the body. One is oncogene, which is like a mom, grow, grow, grow in dance, grow in education. Next is a tumor suppressor, like a best friend. Dude, I think I failed today. I hope you failed too. So these kind of genes, they balance our body. Now, as we have fried rice, uh, lemon rice, curd rice, scientists thought, why not have cancer varieties too? So carcinoma is skin cancer. Sarcoma is blood vessel cancer. Leukemia is blood cancer. Lymphoma and myeloma, they are the immune system cancers. And brain and spinal cord cancers are also present. The difference between cancer and the other diseases would be that cancer can affect any part of the body because there are cells in every part of the body. In order to fight cancer, we have to know the four stages of cancer. Stage one is when the cancer is very small. Stage two is when the cancer is not spreading but large than the stage one. Stage three is when the cancer has started to spread in our body. And stage four is when the cancer spreads to the other organs of the body. Now, if someone says he or she is unfortunately in stage two, we know what they mean. As usual, mankind thought of treatments and they came up with three, surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Surgery is when the tumor can be operated from the body. Radiation is when the cells are heated up, their DNA breaks, and the cell dies. Chemotherapy is when all the color color chemicals that you see in your laboratory are instilled in your body to delete, to demolish the cancer cells. Now you can ask, Jayashree, you're telling me there are three treatments and people are still victims of cancer. This is because of two reasons mainly. The radiation and the chemotherapy not only affects the cancer cells, but sometimes it also affects the normal cells of the body. The second reason why people are dying is that between one chemotherapy session and the next one, too much of cancer cells grow in between. So not enough treatment is given. So these are the two main reasons people are still victims of cancer. The general causes of cancer, I have to state it. First is smoking. Tobacco is cancerous. Next, the only vegetables that we put so far was in Maggi, but our friend has been banned now. So our diet has almost been forgotten of vegetables and your fruits. Next is obesity is when your BMI goes all wrong. Next is alcohol. Alcohol can bring about 15 types of cancer. Foreigners do this thing. They go and tan themselves purposefully. So too much of UV radiations can also bring cancer. The gas that comes out of our vehicles is carbon monoxide, which will induce cancer. When you burn the chips that you eat, please don't try this at home, but when you burn it, carcinogen comes out of it. Too much of meat and alcohol consumption can also become, be cancerous. And the paraben is a chemical which is used in makeup products, which is cancerous. Now, as usual, like a movie, it should have a villain, a hero, and a heroine. So villain is carcinogen. And the hero is our immune system, and the heroine is our body. So this carcinogen, the villain, tries to attack the body, that is the heroine. So the hero comes in, that is our immune system, fights it. But sometimes the hero's bullet backfires. 
like that the carcinogen sometimes becomes more toxic and thus cancer is induced in our body so what now what is the development in the treatment of cancer is genome sequencing to put it simply when a normal cell it changes into a cancer cell the exact position is found out in the body and that is genome sequencing two projects are contributing to it cancer genome project and cancer cell line encyclopedia so treatment can be given to only those areas which are affected by cancer and we have miracles already in life uh, the swami ji takes linga out of his mouth that's miracle jesus did six miracles me standing here today is also a miracle like that cancer has spontaneous remission as a miracle again to put it simply a person who has cancer today is miraculously cured of cancer after 3 months without any treatment this occurs one in 10000 people and what type of immuno response induces it is not found out yet sadly and as usual if anything is discovered or invented the chinese have to rediscover it and do made in china like that the bacteria bot is a nanobot which is very small it is embedded with the cancerous drugs and instilled in our body the advantage is that as it is very small and biodegradable it affects only those parts of the body which are affected by cancer the normal cells are not affected early diagnosis is a key to cure 50% of the people if they had come earlier they would have been cured of cancer so there are certain symptoms that we have to watch out for blood vomiting sudden weight loss and restlessness and sleepless at night not because you stole your papa's money that is something else but this is restlessness and sleepless at night because of night sweats and unusual lumps in the body they may also cause cancer so as the caption says when i'm feeling sick i google my symptoms and usually find out find out that i have cancer so this is a common thing we do a friend of mine she had a headache for about 3 weeks she went and googled i have headache what is what does it mean google said maybe brain tumor so this is a mistake that we do and there's another girl she had an unusual lump in the body in her arm she went to the she went to google again she saw i have an unusual lump what do i do it said cancer when she went to the doctor she said it is fat so reduce your body weight so do not google anything we have angelina jolie here everyone knows her as an actress so a physic is very important for an actress but when she was when she had the risk of breast cancer she removed both of her breasts and that increased breast cancer awareness next we have yuvraj our own hero in india he had cancer but he came back he fought cancer like he fights the balls that come to his bat he just smashed it he came back and he is now in form interesting facts about cancer researchers find out that more than 50% of the cancer can be can be prevented cancer does not show partiality 450 men in the us are diagnosed of breast cancer all years cherries can cause cancer cells to commit suicide plants as you can see also get cancer marijuana is an illegal weed only if goes here but when you inject it biologically it can freeze the cancer cells 20000 people die of cancer every day but listen my friends there are 28 million survivors of cancer in this world one beautiful example is noah he is 7 years old so noah when he was affected by cancer and noah after he was cured the will power that this 7 year old has is missing in most of the adults today they crumble when they know they have cancer but don't now to the famous question after taking this topic about 100 people ask me jashri you have all the topics in the world but why take cancer because cancer is this and the future generations disease it can be prevented guys and it has become a fancy melody these days we all know this film the fault in our stars it was very famous in which both the actor and the actress they get cancer and die after this fake twitter and facebook accounts started collecting donation saying falsely they had cancer so to my end of the speech my friend spoke dream big abdul kalam's dream india 2020 everything your dream my dream 
for all that to become true we need to live so that is what i'm trying to say here all this information i said about cancer i hope you get it but i hope you never need it that comes a day that will come a day when cancer is just another zodiac sign thank you that was the last and final presentation of the day so over to the jury members if you have any questions uday <laughs> jai shri uh sri congrats it's a wonderful speech from you uh jai shri i think so you should start uh, educating or you should be a uh, professor who can teach medicine so we'll not have the problem what mr sujit was referring today morning so everybody will have a clarity on what the the doctor should do and second thing uh my suggestion it's not a comment i think so you should start continuing uh, presenting this lecture to other colleges and to the other uh, events as well mm, yes. so it could have a la larger awareness scheme for cancer as yes, well sir, thank you uh jay shri i'm i'm actually bowled over for the simple reason um, one of course i i really love your style you know very casual very cool calm composed and that's how a speaker has to be um it takes enormous amount of courage to pick up a topic like this for a finals in a competition right uh, because it's it's quite common that you pick up something which can hold the audience because cancer awareness to this age group is might not be appealing but hats off to you for that courage to pick up this topic and speak yeah. and i hope you're not an mbbs student you're an engineering college student yes, right sir, yeah and the, the depth of information that you have in this uh, in this slide was very interesting uh, it was not at all boring so hats off to you we don't have any thank questions you. for you at least i don't have any question i just want to congratulate for taking up this topic yeah thank you sir. thank you and i have one more thing to say uh, this is more like an awareness that i'm giving to this generation rather than a presentation but sir this age group needs this speech why because is we use the things we do the things that may induce cancer in us tomorrow so when we are 40 or 50 it doesn't mean only then we should be aware of cancer after we get it so this generation i'm if any one in this hall i hope not but if any one of them are benefited from my speech in the future then that is my victory so my speech is especially for you guys we do a lot of things but this is this generation's disease what we do today may or may not induce cancer in us tomorrow so this is totally for you thank you thanks thank jayshree that was wonderful thank you uh, one question before probably we sign off why did you take up cancer and not heart diseases sorry sir why did you take up cancer as a topic and not anything related to heart diseases because okay. that's one another killer that's around yes sir cancer is something that we have in our hands as a few uh, as a generation uh the heart disease uh, sometimes uh, heart disease we cannot predict it sir and it is not in our hands sometimes it comes only when we age uh, but cancer is not like that it is applicable to all ages even small children get cancer and we as teenagers get cancer and old age people they also get cancer so it is applicable to all the ages and what we do today as i said already will in decide whether we induce cancer in ourselves or not so this is something that is in our hands and we can do so that is why sir cancer thank so you thank you